Yes. I'm gonna die. Yes. I get money. Jude, why are you doing this? Because. Uh, because you're forced against. Because you love adventure. Is this for YouTube? What? Because you love adventure. Sure. <laughs> go, go with that. <laughs> While I do love adventure, the real reason we're climbing through a 100 yard pipe is to test out an app I built. I'll tell you later in the video how you can get it and play with it as well. The idea for the app came about a month ago when I got my new iPhone 12 Pro. <laughs> no, that was actually an iPhone 5 from seven years ago that had the exact same design as the iPhone 12. One of the things that excites me the most about my new phone is the LiDAR sensor. LiDAR is not new, but it's becoming uh, less expensive and more widely used and, and it's just really exciting to see it come into consumer products and there's a lot of applications for this. I saw the same thing happen about five years ago with accelerometers, magnetometers, and Bluetooth radios. When that technology got dependable enough and cheap enough that I could go build the Play Impossible game ball. So what is LiDAR? Well, it is a light sensor, but it's not measuring or capturing light from the sun or lamp. It's actually generating its own light that we can't see, and that light's bouncing off of objects and coming back to it. It's able to measure that time in just tiny nanoseconds and determine exactly how far away those objects are. Andrew can determine how far away objects are from him by having boys run to the object and run back and measuring the time. Now, if they could run at 670 million miles per hour, they could compete with LiDAR. Because the LiDAR generates its own light, what I'm really curious about is, is it possible for my iPhone to see in the dark? Apple's primary reason for adding the LiDAR was to improve augmented reality. So they make it really easy to create these 3D models that are from all the different sensors on the phone. It's a little bit harder to get the LiDAR data directly. I think I found a way to do it. It still tries to improve it with the stereoscopic images, but at least it's still working in the dark. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, dang it, maybe not. Okay, I think I have it working now. So what you're seeing here is a depth map. It isn't the normal colors that your eyes see. They don't exist in the dark. We only know how far away each object is from the phone. So we're picking different hues and saturations of colors and using some crazy math to try and create enough contrast between each thing. The end result is that you can see real world objects on a two dimensional screen with no color or light. But to really test this, we need complete darkness. And that's hard to find in this modern world, but we know a place where it exists. And it starts with climbing through a 100 yard pipe under the highway. And then you go down deep into the rock. I think so. We made a turn though. Is it getting tighter or bigger in there? Down in here, there's a big hole. Well, it goes down? Yeah. You we're not going to go into that hole in one sense. Then you get back up and just make sure you're not going to fall going down. Well, you can so we're still in the cave. And like now the parents are coming. And this right here for us is really small. For them, it's going to be really extremely hard. So, like, to go for this, we have to bend our heads and our butts have to touch the water. <laughs> Does he use all arms? Oh, this is the army cat. Oh man, I'm still a little wet. All right, I made it. Oh, it's your back, okay? Oh, <laughs> oh why did we do this? You got it? Yeah. I can do this. Are you, you're seriously doing this? Oh yeah. Hold in this full send, bro. Yeah, bro. Dude, you got this? 
Go, Timmy, go! Go, Timmy, go! Oh, it's so cold. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's very cool. It opens up a tiny bit. It does? This is the part that the kids told us it opened up. <laughs> it gets bigger. Just it's follow bigger. us. Nice. You can wait for us here. Here, I'm waiting. <laughs> Don't worry, I can't go anywhere. You can't even sit. You can sleep there. Now I found this pretty small walking area. Come through here. It's just a big hole. This part is really wet. It is? You need not find it. The cave finally did open up and we can start playing around with the act. It's hard to describe what complete darkness is like unless you've been in a cave or a sensory deprivation chamber, but it's pretty magical. The LiDAR worked. We could find our way around with it. It did glitch out a lot more than we expected. And we're fairly certain this is due to dust, a large amount of dust inside the cave. Now the infrared side of the camera, the front of the iPhone, had no problem with the dust and actually produced some really cool imagery of the cave wall. Now we're going to keep developing the app and we're going to keep adding features. We have some ideas on how to improve the night vision part of it, but also to add features like recording, photos, and maybe even Google Cardboard support. So this app is available today for 99 cents in the App Store. I'll link it down below, but if you search, it's named LiDAR Night Vision. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, subscribe.